Thank you for joining us today and for taking the time to watch this introduction video to the Proficient Active Directory Groups Management Intranet Web Application. At Proficient, we perform quite a few Exchange to Office 365 migrations. One of the problems that often arises when we move a client from an on-premises solution to Office 365 is that their users lose the ability to manage their on-premise Active Directory Exchange distribution groups through Outlook as they may have been accustomed to doing. To give customers another option for group management by users, Proficient built an off-the-shelf solution and this video will provide a brief introduction to that solution. The web application allows authenticated users to manage the members, owners, and delivery management of distribution groups. For this demonstration, we have created an isolated lab environment with, with test users and groups. First, we will navigate to the URL for our web application. And we are currently using Microsoft Edge, which is basically Internet Explorer. Um, so we will be prompted for credentials. For all other browsers, the user's identity will be already known and will automatically authenticate the user without prompting for credentials. We are going to use uh, steve.jobs at mydomain.com. Give a password. We'll be logged in. After logging in, the user will be shown a list of distribution groups which he is an owner or co-owner of. And to modify or view a group, you simply select it in the list and then click the edit button on the right. It will be shown a new dialog that has the information, uh, it has the group name at the top, it has the details shown, which this is a read only, uh, the members, owners, and delivery management. Uh, to add a member, just simply navigate to the, the tab on the left for members, click on add a member, and start typing a display name. Now this is a wildcard search, uh, so if I type, for instance, John, I'll be shown all the users who are mail enabled uh, and who have John in their title. So you see there's John Goodman in the middle. Let's go ahead and type Goodman. We can see I've got good, if I type good, I've got that. So, but if I type man, I get George Eastman and John Goodman. So let's let's add George Eastman as a, a member to the in, uh, inventors group. And let's add him. Uh, he's already uh, a, an owner. So let's remove him as an owner. And we will add uh, let's see, Newton, Isaac Newton. We're going to add Sir Isaac Newton as an owner of that group. So delivery management works the exact same way. You can type John here and you can add a user and you will be shown that uh, he was uh, added. You, to remove it, just simply select the user, click the remove button. You'll be prompted to confirm. Once you do so, the user will be removed from the list. Now we've added Sir Isaac Newton as an owner. We're going to close this. We're going to close the browser and re-log back in as Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton at mydomain.com. Give his password. And we get an access denied error. This is because the user account for Isaac Newton is not a member of the Proficient DL owners group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, add his account to that group, and then come back and then reload the page by cl clicking this logo. Okay, I've added his account to this group. I'm going to reload, clicking the logo, and we'll now see that Isaac Newton is signed in, and he is shown the inventors group which we added him as an owner of. He can now add members, remove members, and so on. This intranet web application can be installed, configured, and branded to your needs in a relatively short amount of time. This concludes the introduction to the Proficient Active Directory Groups Management intranet web application. Thank you for watching.